Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Trevor from Blog HD here, and as you can tell, I'm kinda happy because we hit 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. So I just wanted to say thank you so much, and because of that, we're gonna do an iPad giveaway, or is it a Galaxy Tab 4? I don't know. Whoever wins, you get to decide which one you want. So I thought let me give you guys a heads up. We hit 2,000 subscribers, I posted a picture on Instagram saying uh, thank you and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for that, and hopefully, whoever wins it, you get to decide if you want an iPad mini, or you get a Galaxy Tab 7 or 8. For, I don't know, one of those two anyways, you get to choose. So thanks for that and enjoy the video. I'm out guys. Peace. Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Trevor from Trade Blog HD here and today I'm here with my S6 as you can tell here. But I'm not here on a good note as you can tell from the title. I'm actually not happy about one thing about my phone. It's really been bugging me for a long time since I got the phone and recently I got an update saying that it was supposed to help improve that little problem I was having but it actually kind of made it worse. And that problem is RAM management on this phone. This phone comes with 3 gigabytes of RAM and that's a lot of RAM and for a phone with 3 gigabytes of RAM you'd expect it to have at least 1.5 gigabytes of RAM free at any given time I mean if you look at my phone, my app store right now, I do not have that many applications installed except for the Google applications and a couple of other applications that I installed myself like I installed like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 about 10 applications that I have installed myself okay these are the ones I've installed and if you look in the folder these ones come pre-installed on the phone uh, most of these yeah they all come pre-installed which is standard stuff right but on a phone like this with 3 gigabytes of RAM you'd expect it to have at least 1.5 gigabytes of RAM free at any given time you know but you don't get that I'll show you if I was to go in my smart manager you see how much RAM I've got available I've only got 800 megabytes of RAM free so it kind of makes me wonder what's going on with all the other RAM you know because I remember when I first got this phone uh, a few weeks ago before I got this update recently it used to have about a gigabyte of RAM available at any given time which wasn't too bad it was okay but then again Samsung kind of came up and said yep we've not we've acknowledged the issue we do have a RAM problem with our phone which is you know fair enough you'd expect you know a big company like Samsung to fix it but the update that they pushed out did not actually help out anything if I'm perfectly honest let me see if I can find it uh, ignore all the food pictures I take a lot of food pictures but see if I can find it uh, let's see I think it's this one yeah that's it as you can tell I don't know if you guys can tell so if I zoom in a little bit you guys can kind of read this it actually says you know it, it was a big update in 149 megabytes it's supposed to help with performance issues for someone like me I like to install a lot of applications on my phone I really enjoy doing that I like having a lot of applications because I use a lot of applications but now I will not be able to do that simply because the RAM I know what's gonna happen if I overuse the RAM the phone is gonna start being sluggish it's gonna start being slow and it's really annoying especially when you spend 599 pounds on a phone you know that's a lot of money you know 599 British pounds that is a lot of money you know if it was in America it's almost like eight nine hundred dollars you know if it was in America or something so it's a lot of money you're talking here but to get a phone that you're only gonna get free space of around 700 megabytes free that is really frustrating it's really really annoying and if you look at it to see how many applications that are actually using all the RAM as you can tell there let me see if I can show you as you can tell these applications are using RAM I mean, I mean the home launch I can understand the touch home launch I can understand in the UI but if you add all these up there's no way they're gonna add up to over 2 gigabytes there is literally no way I mean these are the kind of issues that will limit people from installing more applications on their phone because they will start being slow the phone will start slowing down and you will feel that slow you know your phone being slow which is really frustrating you know at least for someone like me who understand phones a lot more than the regular user i would say i know what to do i know the problem is the ram so if i install too many applications my phone is going to be slow most people however will not know about this and they'll try to install i don't know a hundred applications on their phone and all of a sudden they'll notice their phone is being extremely slow and they won't know why what's going on and that is bad for the end user that is really really bad on samsung side and i think it's really really frustrating on my side to be perfectly honest with you guys but i thought you know what let me do a video about it and talk about it because it's something that is actually there it's a, it's a problem that uh, Samsung I think they need to address as soon as possible because it, again like I said it's really really annoying if you look now it's 
pretty insane, you know, the amount of RAM that's being used. I mean, now I've only got 685 uh, megabytes of RAM free and I've only got two applications running. That is too much, guys. You know what I mean? That is a bit way too much and I've only got two applications running. That's bad. And this is after the update as well, so the update kind of made it worse. So personally, I'm just hoping when Samsung released a new update for the fact 5.1.1 lollipop update they fix all these issues because this is not good lollipop was supposed to be great with RAM management but I guess TouchWiz has not really made things any better even though they said they've cut down on the amount of applications that came with TouchWiz which they did and it's awesome you know I'm really proud of that you know giving the thumbs up for that but at the same time the RAM management is terrible that is really horrible I think Samsung needs to get that addressed and fixed as soon as possible because like I said the new update that I got it did not help at all it made it worse and that's bad that is really really bad for a high-end device like this because I mean when you've got a phone like this you expect it to be able to hand you know you should you should be able to install like 50 to 100 applications without worrying about a thing you know what I'm saying you should be able to do that but with the S6 at the moment you can't do that and that is a big issue I'm not having to go with Samsung here because you guys know I love my Samsung phones you know I absolutely adore them you know because the S6 at the moment is probably one of the best phones you can get in the current time so I just thought let me do this video to let you guys know what's going on with this ramp issue so if you do have an S6 please do let me know and let me know how you're getting on with your S6 like I said uh, I'm not having any problems I'll be lying if I say I'm having a lot of problems I'm just worried like in the future for people who do not know about this whole RAM thing and how it works they're gonna struggle they're gonna have a lot of problems with it but if you're one of those people and maybe you've noticed like you know your phone starts slowing down or anything like that definitely take a look at your RAM because that's the main reason I think it's gonna cause your phone to slow down and to be honest I work in a phone shop and I've had a few people coming back saying why is my phone suddenly feeling a bit sluggish then I look at the app tray, app tray and I was noticed that we store like 56 applications and yes I think I know the main reason why it's the RAM management and I really think Samsung needs to address it so help share this kind of message you know about the whole RAM problem that is on the S6 because it is really frustrating so if you own an S6 or if you know somebody who does you know share this kind of message share this video if you have to you know what i mean do what you need to do so samsung will listen and do something about it because like i said it is really frustrating especially for the end user and that's the reason why i'm doing this video to let people know about this kind of issues so anyways guys thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this video let me know give it a thumbs up and all that kind of stuff and subscribe to the page if you're not because i'm one of those people you know when i do my videos i'm dead honest about him i mean i might love some songs but if there's a problem i will talk about it and i'm not afraid to mention it so yeah that's me to uh take my take on this whole run issue that samsung was supposedly supposed to fix but clearly they didn't fix it so i thought let me give you guys a heads up and like i said if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up anyways i'm out guys i hope you guys have a good day more videos are coming soon and more giveaways they're always available so check out the twitter page and the instagram you know you know in terms of all the giveaways and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, you have a good day guys. I'm out. Peace.